During World War I, tensions between Prime Minister Billy Hughes and Queensland's Premier TJ Ryan increased as they argued over military conscription. Ryan stood alone among other Premiers in his opposition to enforced enlistment. By 1917, thousands of Queenslanders had enlisted to fight in Europe, but once casualties started to rise and it became obvious that victory would take some time, enthusiasm for the war waned. The Australian Imperial Force faced a shortage of men and recruitment quotas were not being reached. The Federal Government conducted two unsuccessful plebiscites on the issue of conscription in October 1916 and again in December 1917. Campaigning was fierce and vitriolic and divided the nation. While addressing a crowd at Warwick Railway Station, Billy Hughes was pelted with eggs, dislodging his hat. Hughes, furious at the lack of action taken by local police, set up the Commonwealth Police Force to combat hooliganism. Tensions between Hughes and Ryan reached a climax over military censorship. To counter a series of actions by Queensland's military censor, JJ Stable, Ryan read out suppressed anti-conscription material in Queensland Parliament, which was later to be published in Hansard. Hughes was enraged and retaliated by ordering military raids on the General Post Office, where they seized 1,000 copies of Hansard No. 37. He personally led the raid on the Government Printing Office in George Street the next evening, where another 3,300 copies were confiscated. Queensland Government supporters managed to distribute 1,500 copies through Brisbane suburbs by motorcar, thrown over fences into gardens like a newspaper delivery. Stable thwarted this tactic by organising a raid on the office of The Worker, an Australian Labor Party newspaper, seizing another 800 copies. The next day, Ryan held an emergency meeting to endorse a policy of direct confrontation with the Commonwealth. He also printed off a government gazette extraordinary, complaining about an intolerable level of censorship. The state government posted police with sidearms at the printery, while copies of the government gazette were being printed. Security around government buildings was increased, and eight constables accompanied the Premier on his rounds. Cabinet discussed serious contingencies. Plans were made to swear thousands of unionists in as special constables, to sever railway connections, and block entry into the Brisbane River, and seize control of all mail and telegraphic communications via the GPO. Cabinet Minister John Faheli sought the cooperation of trade unions, saying that if the army were used against the Queensland Police, it was a declaration of civil war. This tinderbox situation all hinged on another showdown at the government printery. Hughes sent his private secretary, Percy Dean, with Stable to visit the printing office where police refused them entry. As Stable was trying to sneak his way into the courtyard of the printery, government printer A.J. Cumming, an ardent conscriptionist, let him in through a side gate. Stable found that no more Hansards had been printed. Everyone stood down and civil war was avoided.